Yo, what's up? <sighs> what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up, man? Come on in, come on in. We chilling, we chilling, man. Y'all already know exactly what it is. We back here again. We back again, man. We back here to try it again, man. Earlier today when we was live, we got interrupted by some uh, certain things that happened that unfolded. That uh, fortunately they were. It was just uh, a misunderstanding. So we are back again, thankfully. Uh, the last live though, sadly, it got it got uh, deleted due to certain circumstances. But we're back now, so that's all that matters. You know, we're back on the grind. They can't stop nobody. They ain't gonna stop nobody. They can't stop nobody who's determined to do what they're supposed to do and what they gotta do. You know, and when you know what you gotta do, you just gotta get out there and do it. You know, you just gotta get out there and do it and understand that there's gonna be people that that hate that do all types of different things, man. So you just gotta get out there and understand. This is going to be Keisha's, it's going to be Jeffrey's, it's going to be haters, it's going to be supporters. Everything else in between is going to be out there, man. But uh, let me know how you guys are doing down there in the comments below today. If you guys have anything fun, interesting, entertaining, or productive planned today. Or if it was just another regular, lazy, chill back day, you know. Uh, let me know if it was a good day or bad day. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and let me know where you guys are tapping in from down there in the comments below so I can shout out your country, your state, and or your city. You know, I always thought it was interesting how we could all be in the same room, same car, same building, same wherever at the same time while we're all out in different parts of the world. You know, it's, it's, it's crazy how far technology has come. Uh, and it's just, it's amazing to me, you know. You can be in contact with people without actually being next to them, you know. And I'd say give it about another 30 to 50 years or so. Are we going to be teleporting? You know, we're going to have teleportation stations everywhere. You know, you just walk in, you press a button, and you teleport to the next station that you go to. Uh, just like the one, if you guys have ever seen Jet Li, the one, you know, I feel like that's how it's going to be like. What's good, Mike? You appreciate you for tapping in, man. If y'all haven't already, man, go follow and go subscribe. That's my boy right there. You know, he be serving game the same way that I do. Uh, and, yeah, we do it differently. You know, I serve game and I clown on celebrities. And, uh, by the way... Um, after this live, I'm going to be going live on my YouTube channel. It's Prince Kane. Uh, if you guys want to tap in there, i got some things that i got to say that are uh, inappropriate for this platform. So if you guys want to be in there, go ahead and, and, and go subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to be going live over there after this one. So with that being said, yeah, that's that. But, uh, yeah, man, you, you already know, man. It's, I, I, it's just certain things, man. Certain things I can't say on here because, you know, censorship and all that other stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's what it is. But uh, with that being said, we're about to hit our like goal of 1,000 likes. Uh, everybody needs to get together on one accord and start tapping the screen. If you haven't already, tap the follow and the bell button if you guys like what you see and like what you hear. There's a lot of content that goes out uh, at this platform as well as our other platforms. You know, my Instagram is the same. It's about the same way, but it won't let me connect it to my uh, TikTok. So you just go over there to Instagram and type in Prince Kane. Just no dot. You know, there's no period, no dot or anything like that. Uh, and the YouTube, you know, the Mocking and Kane YouTube is uh, connected into my profile. But I'm going to be going live on my personal YouTube channel because I don't want nothing to happen in that other channel in case something does happen. So with that being said, yeah, man. Uh, what are we talking about this episode, man? Uh, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. You know, uh, if you can't build yourself, if you can't build yourself up from something small, then how can you expect somebody to help you? Do you know, um... I've had people in my life, they've asked me, hey, yo, uh, can I borrow this amount of money? Can I borrow that amount of money? Can you give me a ride to my job or wherever the case may be, you know? Uh, and it's small things like that, you know? If you can't build yourself up off of something small, you know, like a small loan of $100, $200, $300, whatever the case may be, how can you expect somebody to help you, you know? Um, and most of the time it'd be the most irresponsible people who ask you that. And the reason why they do that is because now they realize I don't really got to work. I can just ask this fool for some money and he going to give it to me, you know, and I'm going to go spend it irresponsibly on whatever I want, whether it be substances or whether it be certain things that I can drink or whatever the case may be, you know, um, they going to, they going to use you and they going to abuse you. You know, they're going to use you and abuse your, your pearls. And that's why God says, do not cast your pearls to the swine. You know, we, we oftentimes we cast our pearls to the swine and assuming that the swine is going to respect it. But they got the spirit of the swine. They, 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 they stomp on it. They spit on it. They kick it around in the mud. They don't care, you know. Um, but then people, man, it's like 
you help them out as much as you can, but they just take it for granted and take advantage. And it's just like, if you can't build yourself up off of the $100 that I let you borrow, if you can't build yourself up off the $50 that I let you borrow, if you can't build yourself up, get your own car from the job that you got that I'm giving you a ride to, how can you expect me to continue to help you? To continue, how can you expect me to continue to enable you to be in the in the gutter, you know, uh, a lot of people they get comfortable living in the gutter because they don't have to do anything, you know. They just sit around and pay bills and then they stay broke, you know. And that's just how they are. And sadly, it's a shame, you know. But um, those people, man, there's really nothing you can do to help them because they don't want the help. They don't. They don't. They act like they want the help just so they can get free help, just to take advantage of you. And at the end of the day, when you realize what it is, you got to cut them off. But if, if you don't cut them off, you're going to stay just spending money over and over and over again. Pointless money that you could have kept in your bank account. You could have been at $1,000 by now. You could have been at $2,000 as a base for your bank account. But instead, you, you, you decide to spend it on somebody who's taking advantage of you. And th don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with helping people out. But when you realize what that person is doing, then you have to take the appropriate steps necessary to correct your mistakes in helping and casting your pearls to the swine. You have to take the necessary steps. You have to take the uh, the appropriate steps necessary to be able to rebuild yourself from where you derail from helping that person. And uh, my apologies if this is lagging. I really hope it's not. I don't know why. Um, I got my my Wi-Fi is on and everything. I'm connected to all you know all that stuff. So I don't know why it's, it's acting a fool right now. Uh, so if it is lagging, can y'all let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to fix it. Oh, it ain't? Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. It ain't lagging. We're good, we're good. I don't know why it's on my end it's showing that it's all choppy and laggy. So, But yeah, man, just understand that those people, man, there's nothing that you can do to help them because they don't want the help. They're comfortable in their filth, in their mud. They're comfortable eating dirt. They're comfortable bathing in mud and rolling around in it. They have the spirit of swine. And they're comfortable in it. They're comfortable kicking around your pearls and, and, and stomping on them and spitting on them. And you got to sever them ties because those ties are fraying. Sever the fraying ties. You know, uh, it, it's, it's a shame. And sometimes it'd be your friends. Sometimes it'd be people who you thought were homies, were close homies. Uh, that you got to sever ties with. And that's just how it is in life. Nobody is promised to be in your life forever. And once you figure that out, it makes it a whole lot easier for you to be able to understand this is what I got to do. But you got to get burnt by the fire before you can learn that lesson. And it sucks. But once you do, you realize not everybody's for you. See, your closest friends, the people who be, uh, who be using you for your resources, they put on a facade. And they do it so well because they're so used to doing it because they've done it to other people so many times before in the past. And it's just, it's crazy, man. Like, it, it, imagine. Can you imagine always constantly having to look over your shoulder, putting on a facade like that? That would be tiring. That would be annoying. That, I, I, I don't want to live like that. You know, I couldn't live like that. Um, so the people that do, man, there's something else. There's something else entirely. I don't get it, man. You, you live looking over your shoulder, hoping, I hope you don't figure this out. I hope you don't realize I'm using them. I hope you don't see this or that. You know, it's crazy. People go through extraordinary lengths. They do what is necessary to keep you on their hook, but they won't do what's necessary to build up their bank account. They won't do what's necessary to build up their life, their empire, but they'll do whatever it takes to keep you on their hooks. That's the crazy part. And that just goes to show you how lazy and unappreciative people are. And it's crazy. It's crazy to me how somebody could just live like that their whole lives. And that's just how some people are. They have no respect for you, for your kindness, for your your compassion, for your help. They, they have no respect for it at all. So when you find out that that's who the people are in the circle, you got to cut them off. Cut the grass and weed out them snakes, man. It's the only way you're going to do it. It's the only way you're going to get around. They, they are your anchors in life. They are weighing you down. They are... They are Inanimate weight. We'll just say that. They are inanimate weight. 
on your shoulders that you are carrying because they cannot pick it up themselves and carry it. They got to have somebody else do it. Cut them off. Cut them off. And it may be people that you grew up with from your childhood. Could be people from your church. Could be people from your work. Could be people from anywhere. But they don't got your best interest at heart. When God said, do not cast your pearls to the swine, he's talking about people who don't have your best interest at heart. He's talking about people who take advantage of your kindness, your mercy, your grace, your compassion, your help, and everything else in the between. He's talking about those people. He's not talking about actual pigs. He's not talking about actual animals. He's talking about people who have the spirit of swine. Don't cast your pearls to them. Same thing goes for a relationship. Don't cast your pearls to the swine in a relationship. Don't let the same person who keep using and abusing you back into your life over and over again. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. You know? And with that being said, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. I appreciate y'all for tapping in, man. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. Um, I'll be going live on my YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, Prince Kane. And yeah, man, go tap in over there. I got some things that I got to say that I can't say over here. Deuces. Deuces. Sorry, I got the hiccup now.